Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another journal with me and I'm working towards the back of my journal in this session. I'm going to be documenting my nephew's first birthday party. I have some photos and I've also pulled out some bits and pieces from my stash. I don't have any ephemera from the day. I just found some items that I thought might work well for this spread. I don't end up using it all, but it is nice to have choices. So the pages that I chose are a little plain and I'm going to add some papers to cover up the white space and the craft paper. I found this vintage music book page, although I think it might actually be antique paper as the copyright date was 1908 or something similar to that. I thought this page was a good fit because at the top it says baby's one year old and birthday greeting. So I've just trimmed it down to make it fit on top of the craft paper and I'm just using my glue stick on the back of the paper as it's pretty thin. Luckily it doesn't seem too fragile. I'm going to add some washi tape down the centre of the page just to make sure that music paper doesn't lift back up and this washi tape is a brand new one I haven't started yet and it has this pretty star design on it that I thought fitted really well for a birthday party and the tape is designed by Cheyenne Barton. Now I have the craft paper all covered up I'm moving on to the blank white space at the top of this pocket and you'll see me playing around with some different bits and pieces. So I have some vintage linens, I have some scrap paper, and I also played around with putting an envelope in the pocket. So this scrap piece of paper here is actually the same design as the pocket. I'm just going to be using the reverse side of it. And the paper is by October Afternoon. I'm also going to be using one of my vintage linens. You can find this one in my shop. It's in pack number four, and I just used a glue stick on the back of that piece as well. Now I'm moving on to cutting up some photos. So I have a photo of myself holding my nephew Logan, and also his birthday cake, which was really yummy. It was like a Victoria sponge cake. I also have a photo of my parents, each holding my nephew, and I also have a picture of my brother and my sister-in-law with Logan opening his presents. And then I also have this photo here, which is his banner, which was attached to the fence in the garden. I decided to add some of the photos to the envelope, which is just going to slip into the pocket. So I added the photos of my parents and my brother and sister-in-law into that envelope. And I'm just here cutting up this photo. I don't need the full photo, I just want the banner part of it. So Logan's first birthday party was a barbecue at my brother's house. My parents were there too. I don't think Dan was there on that day. I don't remember where he was. But what I do remember is getting incredibly sunburnt on this day. In the photo, I am wearing a jumper and I remember the day being super cloudy. But for whatever reason, I must have got too hot taken it off and I didn't have any sun cream with me. So you can see here I've changed out the envelope for a blue paper bag and I had to just trim my photos down a little bit to fit in the bag and I've also trimmed down this photo of the cake. I do use double sided tape on the back of all of my photos just because it's nice and strong and it isn't messy. So Logan had a Madagascar themed party so his cake was a Madagascar themed cake and I thought it was absolutely incredible. It tasted really nice as well. Mm -hmm. 
I've also slipped in a journaling card into that pocket. It's by October Afternoon. Now that I have my photos down on the page where I want them and I've added some items into the pockets and covered up some of the papers, I'm just going through my other bits and pieces on my desk and seeing what else I want to add to the page. So you'll see me playing around with different pieces of ephemera and seeing where I like things the best. I really liked this giraffe piece because there was a giraffe on the cake. So like I said, I'm just playing around with lots of different bits and pieces. I did end up cutting a lot out of this video because I did try pretty much every piece on my desk in every position possible and I really didn't think you guys wanted to see all of that. So I keep some of it in and then I also cut some of it out. And here I'm just going in with a little bit of washi tape to decorate the page. I'm not sure where this washi tape is from, but I absolutely love it. So you can see I'm still working some of the bits and pieces on the page. I haven't really made any decisions as yet. And then the first decision I make is adding this Tim Holtz flashcard to the top of the page. I'm using my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to staple it onto the top of the page. And I really like it, it says Wish and I thought that fitted in with the birthday theme. I really like the number one ephemera piece next to his cake photo. And I decide to attach the party banner photo to the top of the photo of me and Logan. And I'm just going in with a bit more of that floral washi tape, just to add a little bit more decoration to the page. I also decide to just stick this Happy Day ephemera piece down at the bottom of this page. And now you can see I've done my journaling off camera, I've written on the journaling card in the pocket and also on top of the vintage linen. I've gone in with some more washi tape for decoration and this one is by Crate Paper Maggie Holmes and I also added a little phrase sticker at the top that says celebrate. And then you can see here I have these two pieces of ephemera that I've been playing around with throughout this journaling session. I have this giraffe piece and this domino game piece and one of the sides is one star and Logan turned one. So I thought they fitted really well with this page and I decided to use them to decorate the paper bag. I don't know where those phrase stickers came from but they're really pretty and I add a few of them on this spread. Now that all of my main bits and pieces are down on the page I'm going to go in with some stickers. I always like to do this last and it just adds a bit of decoration to the page. So I found this tiger sticker that I thought worked really well for the page. So I'm just using a range of stickers. I think the majority of the stickers come from Crate Paper Maggie Holmes and I think the collections were Sweet Story and Magical Forest. And 
And now I'm just going in with one final word sticker. And these are the finished pages. I feel like they're a bit of a hodgepodge mess, but they are very colourful and I think they are super fun to look at. And I think that works perfectly well for a first birthday party. So I'm really happy with how the pages turned out. Here is a closer look at some of the details. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.